Okay, guys, this one should be a quick video since all we're doing is just exploiting that Unreal um, IRCD with the version 3.28. And for this one, we are going to be using Metasploit. And I believe I ran the search script. So if we do this, I mean the search ex the search exploit. And here, if you search for Unreal. That's too many. Well, yeah, it is too many, but we can see the version over here that we're running. So there is a backdoor command execution, and that's the one that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and clear this. Let's go ahead and open the MFS console. And this is for the better exploit console. And after we do that, it should be really, really straightforward from here. All we need to do is we can also just do a search over here and just search for on real and we have this the back door over here so what we want to do is that and you can see the rank is excellent so not a lot of people are complaining so there's a really good script over here so we are going to be using this guy over here right so now um, the next step that we need to do is all we need to do is just set the remote host and the remote host is the 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 unreal server so set our host in here and it's going to be 10 the 10 the 10 the 6 and we can just run the exploit so set our host to the pay host fail is our host still fail ten 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 six so it seems like it does not doesn't like you guys on real IRC maybe we need to maybe we got banned again let's go ahead and just reboot it one more time okay Meta exploitable is done rebooting. So, also, I want to see the info of this to see what we need. We have the R host of 6 or oh, 10, 10, 10, 6, and the port is 6667, which is good. Uh, that is the port where we are running it. And this one just tells you, you know, the, the name, the module, the platform, the architecture. And the rank is excellent, so this should be working, right? Let me see if you do a show options in here. Show options. This one is basically, um, you know, the options that you need uh, and what you can use. And the exploit target. There's only one target. It's automatically target. And a good thing to always look for when you do a show options is the options require. You always want to take a look at the required. So if the if there is an option that is required, you have to make sure that you fill that option out. Because if you don't, then your exploit might not work. So let me go ahead and run this again. It still didn't work. Exploit and nothing. Okay, if meta exploit is not working, what we can do is we can go to the web and just search for one. So this one is the Unreal IRC. We're just going to find 3.2.8.1 on GitHub, right? I want to look on the GitHub repository and see if we if we find one. Let's see. Danger, the back door, jada jada jada, geek. Let me see if this one has a has a repo over here, and it has a POC. This is a working POC. When the XPDB wasn't working for me, look, it wasn't working for him on the on a machine of hacked the box. So here it is. So he found one and he created one. So thank you for that, my friend. We can go to raw. So 
let's go ahead and go into let's go ahead and exit out of here clear that out right we can let's go ahead and go into our desktop and see the email exploitable so we can do a wget to download this this guy poc dot pi let's say python 3 poc dot pi and I think I believe all we have to do is put 10.10.10.6 over here. No, so missing parameters in the core print. Do you mean print? Interesting. I think this is probably an old one. Uh, maybe it's running, it's running Python 2. Yep, here we go. So it was using Python 2. There are some modules over here that we are missing. No route to host. Ping 10, 10, 10, 6. And we do have access to it. So we have two connections here. Maybe it's sending it the wrong way. I don't think why it would do that. I have config. 10, 10, 10, 5. Let me see cat POC. So it's doing 1, 2, 3, 4. Replace IP and ports with yours, your IP. So we need to replace that. Okay, so that's where it is. And we also need to replace that. So we need to replace the target and also my IP. Okay, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and do a POC. No wonder why it wasn't working. And this one is going to be 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 6, 6, 6, 7. And then over here, I need to replace my IP. this IP 10 10 10 5 which is the IP of my Kali Linux machine and now we should be able to just run Python 2 so okay I, okay, I think this is going to send a netcat connection back so we're gonna have to listen with netcat on port one two three four and let's run this again nothing and nothing this one didn't work either all right let's go ahead and let's try to find another one then poc it did not work let's go ahead and do a cat poc the pi so six 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 seven ten 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 six ten 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 five one two three four and we were waiting on oh here it is <laughs> it finally showed up so I guess that's why it's saying 10, 9. Okay, so it's saying that it's just going to take a while. Well, we see over here. ID root. Who am I? Host name. Right? Metasploitable. IF config. Cool. All right. So I guess they have to fix that Metasploitable. Well, not that Metasploitable. That Metasploit um, backdoor. Because for some reason, it's not working for this one. And also, he was complaining that um, it wasn't working for hack the box, for a hack the box machine, and he had to create one manually. He had to create one from scratch, which is really cool. Thank you very much. So we were able to exploit it with that script. All right. So looking good, guys. This is it for this video. I'm sorry it took this long, but this is how it happens, man. Sometimes you, you know, you want to use. A tool and it doesn't work and you have to improvise and do something else and here we are we got into the box anyways thank you for watching and see you on the next one like always bye bye